Okay, what is intra-abdominal pressure and why is it so important? If there's too much pressure through your abdominal region, then that pressure can press down onto your pelvic floor, out onto your abdominals, or abdominal separation, or back onto your back. So let's think about this balloon. If we squeeze too much, so this is where people do focus on, you know, your ab crunches or your, your strong ab work. So if you put too much pressure into your abdominal region, so say I'm pressing like I would press in the balloon, then you're going to feel like there's a pressure downwards or upwards, right? Now that upwards... This is where our diaphragm is. So this is where we breathe. As we breathe in, there's pressure down from our diaphragm, which is why that there's pressure out, which through the belly. And then as we breathe out, there's more room and that's where we can work with that lift of the pelvic floor. So we breathe in. Let everything expand as you exhale and engage. Breathe and expand. Exhale and engage. Now, if we don't lift through the pelvic floor when we engage through just the belly button, then that pressure goes downwards and that's not what we want. So think about that lift of pelvic floor and belly engaging and then breathing in, letting it go. Now, this is where if there's too much, if there's holding and we're holding, but say at some point that, we begin to fatigue, particularly through, say, the pelvic floor, then, and we're still trying to hold through the abdominals, there's that pressure, and you don't want that pressure. It's the same thing if you're trying to do an exercise and you're trying to engage through your abdominals and your pelvic floor, and then they all start to weaken, then there's still that extra pressure because you're holding in a plank or you're doing you know, a, a crunch hold where both feet are lifted, then that pressure can go backwards onto your back. And that is not what you're wanting. So it's all about regulating that intra-abdominal pressure, but then not testing it out so that you're holding too long when you're in that. Hopefully that visual helps you to understand that when you're recovering, particularly postpartum, you don't wanna be doing too much pressure and you need to work with the pelvic floor and the abdominals as a core unit. They don't come in isolation necessarily when you're doing your exercises. So it's that lift of the pelvic floor and that wrap and that engagement through your deeper abdominal muscles. Hopefully that helps.